members of the board, members of the audience who may be following or uh, listening. Um, I am very proud of our senior leadership, principals, teachers, support staff, parents, and students. Since learning of our shutdown, senior leadership has met at least twice daily, every day, including Saturdays and Sundays, to provide the highest level of response we can. Technology has provided impeccable service with distribution of devices and is working closely with finance and academics to continue high quality service. Early in the shutdown, some principals, their staff, and social workers delivered devices and, and schoolwork to families that were unable to pick it up. Under the uh, offices of safety and security, we have two confirmed cases of coronavirus in Berkeley County at this time. Um, impacted schools have already notified their school communities. Our custodians have cleaned and sanitized schools, and we are working with essential staff only. We are working on a tiered plan depending on the level of shutdown needed. Emergency badges will be used to identify essential employees. Most employees now are working remotely. When employees must enter a building, they are practicing social distancing and re-sanitizing any surfaces they touch. We're working very hard in the event of a prolonged shutdown. Presently, we have 38 locations for meals across the county. Our meal distribution has increased every day. After six days, our child nutrition staff has prepared and distributed 18,360 meals. We're taking advantage of the feeding sites on Wednesdays to exchange any broken devices or to distribute work that is not picked up. We also have worked with churches in the community to expand our feeding reach and appreciate their willingness to serve. Under academics and innovation, the state has been granted a waiver by the federal government for most testing. The State Board of Education is meeting tomorrow and we expect further details to be revealed. We are transforming our e-learning platform or to an e-learning platform last week on one day, we had over 19,000 logins from Chromebooks into our network. Our goal is to continue to provide high quality instruction through e-learning and other means. Dr. Wolf is in contact with a vendor who can provide a K-12 digital platform that will make things more manageable. In order to pay for these processes, CFO Ashley Smith is working to identify savings that are realized by a reduction in expenditures due to the shutdown. We believe these savings can pay for things such as the digital platform we've been discussing. We're making a plan for the exchange of any pencil and paperwork that may be necessary for, between our students and teachers. I want to emphasize that these virtual learning days will count as will the work that our students are performing. Under the auspices of communication, as stated, our senior leadership has worked nonstop to provide timely information in anticipation of announcements from the Department of Education and the governor's office. We have sent daily memos to principals and timely press releases. In most cases, we've been able to disseminate information minutes after any major announcement. We have, had, we have held a minimum of two daily senior leadership meetings and a conference call to principals daily. Last evening, we had two separate conference calls to principals within an hour and a half when the situation at hand changed. Madam Chair, board members, that concludes my report for the evening, and it doesn't require any board action at this time. Thank you, Dr. Ingram.